Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I am back with part two of my 10 cards one kit using the Hero Arts My Monthly Hero from April 2018. If you haven't seen the first five cards, you can check those out on the video that I posted yesterday. So let's jump in here to card number six. I wanted to create my own patterned background using some of the different stamps that came in the kit. So I'm just laying these out here. I'm stamping on a Nina Desert Storm panel, and this is the full five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm gonna stamp this out, color it, and then I'll take a look at things and decide which edge I wanna trim off of. So I'm stamping these using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. And now here through the magic of editing, everything has been colored. I used my Prismacolor colored pencils and I will have all of the colors I used on everything listed in my blog post for you. And here you can see I'm just trimming off a quarter of an inch from two of the edges. So I'll have my five by or four by five and a quarter panel for my card front. Now I lost a little bit of footage here, but as you can see, I used some scrap black cardstock and I used Versamark ink to stamp the sentiment happy birthday. I then went ahead and used some Simon Says Stamp Fine Detail White Embossing Powder and heat set that with my heat gun. I've popped that sentiment strip up on some scotch foam tape and there I'm going to trim away the excess. And then finally I will attach the panel to the front of my card base using my ATG gun. And this card base is made from MFT Poppy cardstock. For the inside, I decided to stamp directly on the card base and I've gone with the sentiment Fiesta Time and added the little mouse playing the trumpet in the bottom right hand corner. And I am using my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink for that. And that will complete card number six. For card number seven, I'm working on some Nina Solar White and again using my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. And I'm going to take this chili pepper image and I'm going to stamp that out a bunch of times. I think I ended up stamping it probably about 30, but I only ended up using 15. And then for my background, I wanted to give that soft brush blending another try. I've had these Nuvo brushes for a while and I'm just now getting around to playing with them for a little bit. I think this technique is something that is going to sort of take a practice hand, but I went through a few different uh, pieces for my background and then finally ended up with one that I liked. And the way I finished was I kept it darker in the center and worked my way out and then it still felt like the edges were a little too white. So I ended up taking my brush and just sort of flicking that around the edges like I would with a sponge um, and to give that a little bit of color and that did allow me to get the darker look in the center fading out towards uh, the edges. So I don't know if this is my favorite technique but I'm going to keep going back to it periodically because I think uh, the more practice you give anything the better it gets so uh, we'll see how things go with that. Okay, so what I'm trying to replicate here is a string of chili peppers, and I'm not quite sure what the name of that would be, but I have never been down south to pick up any of these, but I had a friend in high school who went down every year she had family in the Texas area, and every time they came home that summer, her mom would bring home this string of chili peppers, and she always had them, just they were dried, and they would hang in her kitchen and they were there whenever she wanted to use one and then just pick one off and use it. So I'm trying to replicate that here. And then of course I wanted to highlight the uh, phrase, you're one hot mama. So I did all of them green except for one red to stand out somewhat in the center. 
And what I've done there is I just took some twine. I had planned to try and wrap the twine around the peppers, but because there's such a small cutout, it just was not working. So I ended up just leaving a loop at the top and then I'm attaching all of the peppers using some mini glue dots. And I am spacing them out somewhat because I know that I'm gonna do two layers. So I ended up doing a three, uh, two, and one, and then what I had left over, I put the red in the center and then filled in with the remaining green just to make it look nice and full. I of course then went with the sentiment, you're one hot mama and I'm stamping that out using my Intense Black Ink. And then for the inside, there wasn't really another coordinating sentiment, so I decided to just do a row of the chili peppers along the bottom, and I did use the Fiesta Red ink that came with the kit to do that. So you'll see I've just um, laid this out and every time I stamp I'm moving my background over by two squares so that everything is spaced nice and evenly. And then because I had this last one on the left hand side that was a little bit off the edge, I decided to go ahead and add one on the other side, but it really, <laughs> it really didn't show much at all. So I ended up trimming things down a little bit just to create that finished look. I took a little off the side and then another little bit off of the bottom. I'll go ahead then and attach the front to my card base. On this card base is made from MFT's Blue Raspberry. And then I'll go ahead and finish up by adding my inside panel. And that will complete card number seven. For card number eight, I wanted to create a lacy look and I loved these banners so I've cut a whole bunch of them out of some Recollections cardstock. And the uh, darker pink color I'm using is actually a salmon. For some reason it's showing up more like a red but it's, um, it's really more of a salmon color and it looks really nice with the light pink. So what I'm doing here is using the banner and I'm just going to layer these to create a lacy effect and I'm alternating the colors as well as where the scallops are positioned and I'm just going to continue working my way up the card in a diagonal line. I've skipped forward just a little bit here, but I wanted to show you how I matched the two edges together when I needed to. At this point, uh, the four was not gonna be enough to cover that long of the diagonal when I used the pink just because of the way that the scallops were positioned. So there you'll see what I did. I lined everything up and then the very last one, I just cut one off of one of the other strips and added that to match. And you really can't tell 
um, once it's finished. Now once I was happy with the amount of layers that I had, I went ahead and trimmed off the excess. And I've taken that to my Misty and I'm going to stamp the sentiment Feliz Compleanos. And I used my Distress Oxide for that in the color Abandoned Coral. Then I went ahead and did the inside of my card uh, and for that I went with Let's Party and I also added the cake in the lower right hand corner. Again stamping that with the Abandoned Coral Distress Oxide ink. Next I'll go ahead and add my front panel. And my card base is made from MFT's Tickled Pink cardstock. And then I'll finish up with the inside panel. And that will complete card number eight. For card number nine, I'm gonna create a little party scene here. I'm starting by stamping out the uh, mouse with the trumpet as well as the snake and then also the guitar. I thought it would be cute to make it look like the snake was playing the guitar. So I used Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink and again colored those with my Prismacolors off camera. Here I've laid out my scene and I'm just adding on all of the little characters using some glue dots. Then I grabbed my Ranger multi Matte Medium and I'm going to attach all of my banners uh, using that. Now these banners cut very, it's very straight and you have to be careful when you place them down not to sort of bend them. Like there you can see that got into a little bit of a V and I had to lift it up and try and curve it a little bit more. I mean it would have been fine that way but I wanted it to really look like bunting. So if you just play with them a little bit and um, just sort of slowly stretch it rather than bending it you can really get a nice curve to look with them my banners again are cut using um, some recollections cardstock So I went ahead and trimmed off the excess of my banners there, and here I've lined up the sentiment by Lamos. I'm going to stamp that again using my Intense Black Ink. And then for the inside of the card, I went with the sentiment Feel the Music and the Dancing Mouse. And I'm going to use the blue ink cube that came in the card kit to stamp those out. I've got a card base here made from MFT's Green Eyed Monster and I'm going to attach my front panel here. Next I'll add my inside panel. And that will complete card number 9. For card number 10, I thought let's bring the whole gang to the party, so I'm grabbing all of the character stamps as well as a bunch of the uh, cactus stamps, and I'm again going to stamp those using my Intense Black ink on some Nina Solar White.
And then here, as you can see, I've again off camera colored these using my Prismacolor colored pencils. And I've laid these out just to create a little party scene. I'm going to attach this on the background using my Nouveau Glue. And I created this background the same way that I did in the previous card video uh, using a uh, Bristol cardstock panel background with my Distress Oxide inks. So once I had everything glued down, I trimmed off that little bit of excess from the mouse that was hanging over the edge and realized it looked a little funny. I felt like uh, having one something hanging off one edge and not the other just didn't look balanced to me. Um, in this way, it looks like the party keeps on going. So I just measured out uh, just a small uh, piece off of the edge there to bring that down to three and three quarters. And then I also took a little bit off the bottom um, to make that to uh, three and three quarters by five inches. So it was that even rectangle there. Uh, and then as you saw, I stamped out the sentiment, it's your birthday using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. And for the inside panel, I'm again using my trusty Nina panel trimmed to four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to stamp out the Sentiment Fiesta Time as well as the Shaker using some Seedless Preserves Distress Oxide ink. And there you saw I just trimmed off the music notes from the mouse playing the trumpet and I'm adding those uh, on the other side of that Fiesta Time Sentiment. So here I have got a uh, card base made from MFT's Jelly Bean Green. I went ahead and placed down my front panel and then here I'll add my inside panel. And that will complete card number 10. Here is a quick look back at all of the cards from today. You'll find additional photos as well as a full list of supplies at my blog post linked in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.